Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, today we're going to continue playing as the New California Republic, and, yeah, eventually push for war with Kaisar's Legion. Now, I didn't know that the Rivers would play an extremely important part in my future war with Kaisar's Legion. Now, at the current moment, I don't have a lot of extra ships. I do have some, six here. Actually, this could be divided up even further. Um, obviously, a lot of these ships aren't that great. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and give me one of these heavy destroyers. I'm going to go ahead and merge it with this group here. So that at least they have some sort of capital ship. Over here, um, honestly, we could probably split this up into another group. Uh, let's take four of you guys. Eh, take five. So you got five over here. And we can take another heavy cruiser. A capital ship, of course take you apart and combine you into here so at least for my task forces there's at least one capital ship and a couple other ships except for this one this one has a task force is a task force of a single capital ship followed up with 22 screens wow that seems a little unbalanced but that's okay i need more capital ships but yeah i mean trying to produce more and more Heavy ships? Gonna take quite a while. Um, I guess in this mod you can't really tell. Uh, what ship is what? Uh, let's see, this is a capital ship. So this, the barge is a capital ship. Obviously the super heavy barge is also a capital ship. Um, I'm not making any barges, which I probably should, honestly. I'm gonna do that. Take half of you off. Okay, that was too many. Um, do that, and then do that. You come to the Boneyard as well, so that way we can patrol the Colorado River a little bit better. Sailing ships are cruisers, I think, as well as outrigged canoes are just basically destroyers. Obviously, we've got a couple here. I've got four more screens. I love the screens, but you got to realize that they're only effective until a certain degree. So, you know what? I'm just going to throw these guys over here for now. You guys can also patrol. And I did send my guys down here, but realistically, very interesting to see how far they actually go. They can't come over here. So, it looks weird, but it's red. It's very hard to tell, that it's, but it is red around here. It's still red. Uh, maybe they're patrolling the entire area, the entire shallow sea. Which is great. I just actually really, really good. Because that's the only way they can get in through this river. Which would be great. So thank you very much for the comments. Um, I have read through them. I can't remember all of them. But it's very, very informative for me at least. That I know that you guys have my back. When I will probably make a mistake. So that looks like all the rivers I can see at the current moment. Um, I do, like some of you said. I had to get prepared for the war with the Kaiser's Legion, but also just in case against the New California Republic. Right now, we're making some NCR soldiers, troopers. 19 combat with, I'm thinking of replacing another infantry battalion with a machine gun brigade. That would actually nerf a lot of our stats, surprisingly. But we do get more soft attack. At the current moment, I think my soldiers are okay. If I could use more... Soldiers, I could just replace machine gunners with more infantry. That's always a solution, but I'd lose some soft attack, but get more defense, more HP, stuff like that. So I think right now they're okay. But as a backup division right now, since I'm making 16 divisions at a time, it could be wise to make some de purely defensive divisions. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, we're going to call these small defenders because these are kind of sort of rapidly made soldiers that are decent enough to hopefully hold a line even though they might not be able to but I definitely want to change the symbol for this so I don't get this confused with my regular infantry so something that says small but powerful small but powerful um but um this looks like a chicken head that might just work for me small but powerful definitely not paradox let's go with the bird that sounds like a good idea to me Um, 
And because we want them to be small but powerful, I'm only going to limit them... Oh, crap. To five. I'll do that. I need more army XP so I can get this down to ten combat width. Because I think if I make it ten combat width, they'd be strong enough. So, that means we got to do a little bit more training. And I didn't realize, like I said earlier, about these seas, or the rivers, being um, contested, or they'll act like sea zones. So, I probably, honestly, will need to deploy more soldiers around here, but, I, but let's go to war with Vault 3 first. That might be for the best. This way I can spend some other guys here, train them, get a little more arm. Actually, yeah, that'd be a really great way to get more army XP. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, but I'm going to really focus using the Rangers. Because honestly, it's been a l just It feels like it's been a few days since I've played this last. And secondly, I'm playing this actually very late at night. So I just can't do a normal playthrough or give as much time to this as much as I would like. So this video will be just a little bit shorter than normal, which I regret. But, you know, things happen. Um, yeah, there's only one division here. We're definitely going to attack that one first. And apparently... You might not be able to tell in the background, but it's... The Rider of the Valkyries is playing. as a song. Interesting. Right now, our focus is doing the Boneyard. Pretty cool. Um, next up will be the new Hardline, Annex Rogo against Kaiser's Legion. Before I go to war with Kaiser, I want to make sure I have at least a few divisions guarding against the Western Brotherhood, as well as the other factions, or other countries within my faction, that I will need to help defend, especially against the White Legs up here. Other than that, it looks pretty much okay around here. Yeah, it looks like only Kaiser's Legion has the white legs that's immediately bordering us, but we gotta keep an eye on what they're doing. What does Pax Romana do for them? Pax Romana. Pax Romana, Pax Romana. More production, efficiency cap, but they lose some manpower. Boulder City Salvage. No, they don't control that, so they can't do that. Interesting. And to keep an eye on them, they are still doing Lick the Bull's Wounds eventually, as well as the Fort. And then taking over Tumble Home, which is one of my territories already, which is complete garbo. So, regardless, how is the Air Ward doing? Because we could use some more Air XP as well. Well, we're doing some pretty good damage. Some pretty good damage. Not bad. Uh, for this case, I'm going to go ahead and send you guys this way to help out. I would love extra planes over here to do a great, great job. Nice, the Rangers did a great job. Uh, let's see, I don't want to attack up north. Let's go down south first, or next. Take you guys, take you guys. Six divisions attacking. Not bad. Nice, we're winning pretty easily. Vault 3 isn't very hard to take out. We have now a better salvaged car, which is awesome. A speed gun truck. Better motorized. It's 2280. Uh... There's, yeah, I want to get the monthly population next because that is pretty key in this mod. To get better and better upgrades for your population. Decisions. We can mobilize the people for less war support for more mobilization speed. Not really necessary. Less stability for more research speed. Focus on the eternal sphere. Less weekly war support for more stability. That's actually not a bad thing to do. We are in offensive war. We only have 68% stability, but that's still not bad. Alright, there's not really much else we can do in terms of political power. And we're having a great time with Vault 3. Go ahead and station yourselves all over there. And I don't want to cause too many casualties on my side. Great cons declared war on the Grand Tribes. Alright, so be it. I'm going to let you guys attack. Why don't you attack the capital? That'll push them out fast enough. And, uh, yep, just easy. Boom. Very nice, very nice. We have just enough. To take off two more. Two, well, I need a, just a tiny bit more XP. I need you guys to go ahead and train, since you guys are lacking some XP. And the Rangers, they're looking not bad either. Ooh, Hidden Valley. I mean, I guess I can actually justify on them right now. Oh, that would take 300 days. No way, man. No way. Hopeville. What is Jesse Brown? Supporting Crazy Horns. They're of the people, they don't like us because they generated world tension. They have actually a lot of manpower, but very few divisions. If I wanted to take them out, it would take too long. I don't have cores on them. Ashton is over here as well. What areas do I have cores on? 
I don't have cores on the Western Brotherhood, so attacking them would be a stupid idea. And they kind of like us. Actually, they really like us since I boosted relations with them. Uh, I Oh, I sent an attache to New Reno, even though they stopped attacking each other. Actually, I don't have a lot of cores on places. Huh. Yeah, I really don't. Interesting. Ooh, Jacobstown. New Vegas. I mean, I guess technically... I could go to war with New Vegas. They don't have a lot of manpower, but they don't have a lot of... But they do have some medium robots, because their piercing is probably going to be pretty hard to take out. I don't want to piss them off yet. I really want to finish off or go to war with Kaiser's Legion first. That's what I really want. Push for Zion. They're warriors, but they're people. But they're regular people. Uh, do, do the Great Khans have an option for allying me or Kaisar or... Oh. Restore trade with the NCR. A formal alliance. Hmm. Request amnesty. NCR funding. Adopt NCR tactics. The Red Menace. For the Republic for the Khans. So, basically, what it looks like for the Great Khans, either they're just going to say say that they're neutral, or, or they'll actually join our alliance. So, that's actually pretty cool. Push for Zion. Demand... Oh. Backstab the White Legs. This could potentially get the Khans into a war with the White Legs, who will join the war with Kaisar's Legion, who would eventually probably go to war with me. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. You know, at, at the current moment, go ahead and train as well. I want the best guys there. And don't want to forget about the planes. Don't want to forget about the damn planes. Do that. Go ahead and just train for now. We could use more air XP. Flagstaff. Oh, that's Arizona. Hmm. Come on, give me more of that XP, guys. I could really use it. Alright, let's keep an eye on what Kaisar is doing next. No, no national focus. I don't want to spark the war against Kaisar's Legion too quickly. Just because I know our back towards the Western Brotherhood. Even though we have great relations with the Brotherhood of Steel. I just got to make sure that our relationship with th our relationship with them is okay. And that they're not going to backstab me. I really can't. I don't want to have someone backstab me when I'm in a war with Kaisar's Legion. Because that's probably going to take quite a bit of, um... Technical... No, not really skill, but just it's going to be a major battle, most likely. Uh, Port Aradesh. What's a good one to do next? Rose to Dayglow. Another arms workshop and two more military slots. Actually... Motorized and mechanized organization reinforce rate, gunrunner reliance, day glow, resources to market, scavenging, all's good in the boneyard. Conversion speed, arms workshops, research speed's not bad. Better production of inf of aircraft when bears fly. Let's secure the old city. That sounds like fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Securing old cities. Right now we're currently building a ton of outposts everywhere. Another military factory, which is great. But I'm also going to build up right now some another naval dockyard for our out-to-date ships. Oh, we need more... Oh, crap. Uh, military factories, most definitely. All right. All right, so it's been a couple days. What is Kaisar doing? Two Sun Tribute. Binoculars, very good. You know what? We might just have enough time to take someone else over. Hmm, better reinforce... Two things for better reinforce rate. Still can't do that for the Rangers. NCR Salvage PA. You get more max power, basic power armor, max speed. And reliability. That's very interesting. Holy cow, I did not know that. Interesting. Oh, uh, we want more recruitable population. Yeah, that'd be great to do. Huh. Well, let's see. We're done with making another military factory or arms workshop. So let's go with another one. Followed up by another one. Cool. We're building up a lot of forts. We might just have... <sighs> if I go to war with New Vegas... They actually have quite a few divisions. So I don't think I can really penetrate Securitrons. 
Ooh, secure... They have a lot of armor, don't they? I think they do. Secure trons are probably level 1 or 2. Armor is 26. Secure ton... Securitrons Mark II are at 28. Currently, my Rangers have a piercing level of how much? 37. So, actually, I could probably pierce the Securitrons. Oh, do I go to war with them already? What about my NCR troopers? They have a piercing level of 38 as well. Holy crap, that's actually not too bad. Yeah, if I can just pierce these guys. Oh, but they have 11 to 19 battalions worth of medium robots. That might not be worth it to go to war with them then just yet. Yeah, probably not yet. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start training like 10 of these divisions. Just because if I lower one of the battalions or get rid of one of the battalions, they'll just come out sooner. So that's not too bad to worry about. Uh, and we have the stockpile for it. We just need more planes, of course. But that's that's pretty darn typical. Oh, Bill. I mean, I would love Hidden Valley, but I don't think that would put us in a good spot between us and the Western Brotherhood, and I don't want to piss them off. But what is the Western Brotherhood up to? I really hope... Ooh, formation flying, very nice. They go with surface tensions and do old bonds. I think that would be great if we could do that. Uh, let's see, air superiority. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Ooh, the Great Cons... Oh, they're losing. They're losing to the Grand Tribes. That's not good for them. Nice, better construction speed. Uh, production efficiency cap and growth. Sounds very nice. Rolling out technology to scavengers. We gain 10% efficiency from a newly researched binoculars technology. Huh. Wait, what is this? Stage incident at Black Mountain border with the Mojave chapter. Oh. At Black Mountain, instead of Sloan, it's at Black Mountain. Alright, well, whatever. I'm not going to do that. Let's roll out technology, then. I think that's a good idea for all of us to roll out technology. And we're currently at 60% in terms of technological advancement. I think that's pretty good. Scoring the Old City. Kaiser's Legion is doing Two Sun War Camp. Ooh, reward the Loyal Tribe. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I really... I don't know when... What does that do? Civilian workshops. When Kaisar's Legion is going to next... Wait. What? The Great Khans joined Kaisar's Legion. New... Oh, boy. Crown of New Augustus. What was that stuff earlier? Triumph at the Dam. Oh, they already did the fort. It only took seven days for them. Crossing the Colorado. They need more than 200 manpower. Ah, poking the bear. And then a worthy foe. I really want to be seen as the defenders here when we fight the Legion. So, hopefully they'll attack soon. If not, I can always go to war with someone else, you know. Cool. Small defenders, good. They'll be our defending forces. You got, I really don't want to waste equipment, but training these guys isn't a bad idea. Scavengers return. Very nice. Uh, I don't want to go to war with the Western Brotherhood. I don't mind going to war with New Vegas just because they don't have a ton of manpower. I could kill off a lot of their manpower quite quickly. They have no planes, so we'd have air superiority the entire time. But they are affected by attrition, which is very interesting to think about. Now, someone in the comments is going to tell me. Don't go to war with New Vegas, or someone will tell me, go to war with New Vegas because you have cores on their territory. Um, I mean, it doesn't look like they really get a benefit to their robots or Securitrons in terms of actual raw battle stats. Yeah, they can produce them a little bit faster, quite a bit faster, except for this one. The medium robots get more attack and defense. But other than that, they can produce a lot of them, but... It doesn't seem like there's really that much else. You know what? Let's go ahead and just justify on them. I don't have to go to war with them. And that'll put us potentially in another conflict at the beginning of next episode. So that might be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Nope. Nope. What is this? Motor, nuclear, 
Oh, motor battery Zeppelin. It does ground support. Doesn't have... Oh, hello. Hello there. Uh, let's see. Ground attack is... Wow, 30. Right now, salvage dive bomber has ground attack of 9. Oh, that'd be nice to get. But we need salvage bomber, and a salvage bomber has a ground attack of... Nothing. Mortar, battery, zeppelin. It can do port strikes, naval strikes, strategic bombing. This is kind of like a strategic bomber, more like a tactical bomber than anything else. Ooh, I really want one of these, but... Ooh, nuclear salvage dive bomber? That has... That only has 15 ground attack compared to the howitzer battery zeppelin, which has 40! Jesus, 40! Now, the agility is way lower, like, insanely lower, but... So far, we haven't really encountered anyone that has other, that has planes, so I don't feel too bad about it. Vehicles, oh, there's just so much you can do. It almost feels like there's too much to do, and you just don't have the capabilities to do everything that you want. All uh, right, now let's keep scavenging for stuff. Actually, I'm, robots, I kind of want robots. I don't know why, I just, I kind of want them. Let's do that, Mojave campaign. Honestly, I'll probably end up going to war with uh, the Brotherhood if they don't backstab me first. Honestly, that's probably what I'm going to do. Excuse me. I'll probably go up, up to war with the Brotherhood once we take out Kaisar's Legion. Right now, Kaisar is doing Tucson War Camp. They're almost done. They have the Great Khans with them, the White Legs. And we're scouring the old city. So, the city of LA once held some of the greatest technology and people in all of the old world, and the acquisition of these pieces of technology and information could vastly improve the quality of life in the Boneyard and the NCR on the whole. What secrets can we find in the old city, and how, why, how might they benefit the greatest nation of the new world? Ooh. Construction speed and max factories in a state, which actually could help right now. We could get more population and war support, which is okay. It's only 1% recruitable population. Or old world armor. Gain a technology that increases your army's attack and defense in urban territories by 10%. Ooh, I like that. Attack and defense in urban territories? That sounds very nice. But a lot of places are not urban, honestly. Um, where's my capital? There it is. My capital is urban. But other places, such as Wood Lake, are not. Even though they might have houses here. Or what looks to be houses, but really supply points. A lot of these places are not urban at all. There's a desert. Prim is a desert type of area. Good Springs is a desert. Vault 3 is a vault. So, honestly, as much as urban sounds nice, I think Old World Machine, so I can get more factories in my, in my states, and then slightly faster construction speed, so I can build, build, build more and more and more, even though... Recruitable population, more sports sounds nice. I'm going to go with old world machines. Awesome. And you know what? Just in case, we are justifying on New Vegas. But I think currently, it might be best if we go ahead and complete the new hardline. So this way, we get the war goal to go to war with Kaisar's Legion whenever we feel like. So, let's do that just to have that available to us to use whenever we want. So I think that would be a very nice thing to do. Let's see, you're probably 19 combat width. Yes, you are. I'm going to throw you... Yeah, throw him to Hanlon. Oh, actually, you guys already have a lot of experience. You guys already have 10 combat width. Power armor division. Well, I already have 40 combat width here. Explosive expert. Anti-tank support. Throwing this onto a power armor thing might be really good because it's an insane amount of piercing. Really good heart attack. And then soft attack isn't bad, but I might want to wait... I'm going to go ahead and train two of these at a time. Yeah, their armor level aren't, isn't great, but it's still better than nothing, you know. Oh, we got another division. Nice. Throw one more. And Hanlon, or Willie Humphrey's army, is pretty much done. Oh, and we can still build more stuff. Nice. Very nice. Do I need outposts anywhere? I've already built a lot of outposts. Holy cow. Um, build stuff there. I'm running out of space to actually build stuff, which is a little bit of a concern, I guess. Go ahead and build another naval dockyard if you can. I want to have a big navy because I don't know how much firepower the Brotherhood's really going to have. 
but then go ahead and just build up a ton of military factories. That'll be nice. Alright. Uh, enslaved tribals. Where is that for them? I need to spend more time with this. I think I'm probably going to play a campaign of... This mod, Old World Blues, by myself off screen. Probably play as Kaiser's Legion just to see what, what, what happens. You know, uh, infantry. Ooh, where do I send you over here? Where are you guys at? Oh, you're over here. You're, all 15 of you are over here. <sighs> you know, this is what I'm gonna do. Actually, in base game Hoi Four, or even in other mods, you usually want to defend your ports using some sort of coastal defense divisions such as my small defend small defenders division but because the ai might invade any place along the river trying to pinpoint places where the enemy might attack could be a little bit more difficult so you know what i'm going to increase this to 16 actually and decrease this by like quite a bit actually i think that might be better just so that we will continue to build ncr troopers but the defenders are actually going to play a massive role in making sure that my victory points are not taken over by enemies. I think that would be a good thing to do. And for right now, you guys are doing pretty well, so go ahead and stop. Put yourselves over here. Put the rangers, you can, I'm sure you guys are more than trained now. Stop doing that. And honestly, I'm probably not even going to go to war with New Vegas just because they are, look pretty darn powerful. I doubt I can pierce through the enemy, but... I'm just going to prepare myself, just in case for whatever might happen. Uh, let's see, you're both... Yeah, you're both infantry, so... Throw yourself over to this lady, Cassandra Moore. Very nice. Very nice. Not bad, not bad. And I will end the episode when Kaiser's Legion is done with that focus, so... Nice, more infantry. Good, just throw them onto the things here. Our... Whoa, our offer of guarantee independence was accept... What? When did I... Wait, when did I do that? I don't remember... Handy... Servicemen? Oh man, I have to guarantee their independence? Do I have to guarantee their independence if I attack them? <laughs> uh, abandon cab... Cannibalism. Huh, <laughs> funny. Uh, Platinum Chip New Vegas Treaty. Okay, so... Bec their focus makes me guarantee them. God dang it. <sighs> Does that mean... That I, can, I guess I can invite into a faction. Are you kidding me? Oh, Great Khan send request. When we crushed the forces of the Great Khans at Bitter Springs, we thought we had defeated them once and for all. However, this seems far from the truth. Instead, the Khans have been using their extensive area of influence upon B Bitter Springs, stretching into the Grand Canyon and beyond towards New Canaan or New Cannon, to replenish their forces and begin their activities once more. More recently, however, the Khans came to us with an interesting proposal and formal end to conflicts between our troops and theirs. The agreement goes even further than this. In exchange for our bureaucracy and technology beginning to be transferred to the Khans, they agree to use their forces to protect our settlements and convoys in the Mojave, and even to assist our forces in any cl uh, clash against the Legion. Honestly, you have no way you can support me if you're getting your butt handed to you right now. Wait, no. Wait, no. Are you not getting your... You actually did an encirclement? How did you come back from that? Look how far the enemy's penetrated into your lands, man. What's going on? Con oh, wow. That's extreme recruitment right there. So, non aggression pact with the great cons. Honestly, these two guys, they seem pretty fairly balanced, but a non aggression pact doesn't seem like a bad idea. I thought the great cons would actually lose their war, because look how far penetrative the grand tribes were into this le into this legion or area of the great cons that makes no sense seriously uh, uh sure fine new vegas sure just don't backstab me okay right? all right so how oh we actually have a ton of political power holy cow and there's really not much i can use it for yet that really sucks wait i have no, they took it over! Oh my goodness. I even built this area up with fortifications and forts. God dang it. Ah, Some of these focus trees, I don't... Ah, I'm irritated. I'm irritated by this, guys. I am so irritated by that. Well, we got sharecropper fields. Um, Resource efficiency gain. 
Uh, right now we're doing okay on logistic stuff. What is... Oh, better heavy machine guns. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. All right, so I think that's pretty much all the time for we had to, that we have today. We're almost done with our focus in going to war with Kaiser's Legion. Kaiser literally stole my territory from me, even though I took it from them. To be, took it from an enemy first. So that actually kind of doesn't make me happy at all. They are mobilizing with more soldiers, but... Uh, Next time. Next time, I'm sure we'll probably go to war with Kaiser's Legion because now they have a foothold in my lands. Which really, really sucks. Come on, man. How can that happen in a focus tree? But regardless, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue on marching with our rangers. See you tomorrow.